Well, hello and welcome to my channel. Building habits is like planting seeds. The more consistently you nurture them, the more they grow into something incredible. In this video, we're diving into creating a dynamic habit tracker. We'll incorporate buttons and progress bars to make tracking your habits engaging and visually clear. Plus, we'll explore notions new chart feature to give you even deeper insights into your progress. And because no one likes a long intro, let's get started. Start by creating a new page in Notion for your habit tracker database. I recommend creating a separate page to improve data management and organization. Name it and assign an icon. Use the full page database to create your habit tracker database and remove the default properties. Add a checkbox property for each habit you want to track. Label a checkbox with your habit name and choose an icon to represent it. Add a formula property named Progress to track your daily progress. Use this formula. First, select your habit and add a to number at the end. Then, add a plus and do the same for your other habits. And wrap everything in a parenthesis. Then divide the habits by the number of habits you have and wrap it in parenthesis once again. At the beginning, write round and open parenthesis. And after the division, multiply by 100, close the parenthesis and divide by 100. Test the progress bar to ensure it works correctly. Include a date property in your database to monitor habits over time. Create a daily entry template by clicking the down arrow in the upper right corner of the database. Select new template, set the day to today and name it at today. Set this template as default and enable the daily repeat function so function adds today's habit card automatically. Now it's time to customize your dashboard. Split the screen into two columns and reserve the right column for the habit tracker section. Choose the slash command to add your habit tracker database. Select gallery view and hide the database type. Configure the properties to display all habits at the progress bar. Filter it to show only today's data and name it today and give it an icon. Duplicate the gallery view to create a weekly view. Change the name to this week. Set the filter to this week and sort by date descending. Once again, duplicate this week and name it this month. For this view, use a table. Set the filter to this month, group by date, group by week, and sort newest first. Hide empty groups. Go to the number next to the dates, select more options, then average and choose daily progress. Finally, create a callout, name it habits, give it an icon and move your views inside the callout. Now, let's add a quick action section above the database page. Use buttons for quick habit check-ins. To create the buttons, type for slash and select button. Then name it after one of your habits, give it an icon and click add action. Select edit pages, then select your habits database, click all pages and filter it to where the date is today. Click edit property and select the habit that matches the button name. Finally, set the property to checked. And now you just have to duplicate this button for each habit. Under Quick Actions, 
create another callout named Navigation and place the database page inside it. Create a page named Phone Habits that you can add to your iPhone widgets for easy habit login. To do this, copy the link to the Quick Action section and paste it into the Phone Habits page. Do the same for the Today View. You can create sections for each view. Additionally, create a button that takes you to the main page of your habit tracker. Create a button, name it Home, give it an icon, select Open Page, and choose your habit tracker to open it in full width. If you want to see additional views but don't want them on your main page, inside Navigation, create a page named Habits and give it an icon. Create two columns, go back the main page, copy the navigation section and paste it into the left column. Do the same for the habit section. Duplicate the views as before for this year and set the filter to year and grouped by month. Finally, create one last view named all habits, remove the filter but change the grouping to year. Additionally, you can copy and paste the home button. see a clear representation of your habit progress, I recommend adding a graph. And now Notion has an official charts feature. Use the slash chart command, select the line chart, choose your database, and configure the x-axis to show date by week, short from old to new, and the y-axis to show daily progress and average. Customize the colors and properties as desired. And that's it for today's video. If you have any questions about habit tracking, feel free to share them in the comments. If you found this video helpful, a like will mean the world to me. And if you want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe. Next week, we're diving into the world of finances with an spectacular subscription tracker template. And trust me, you don't want to miss it. With that being said, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!